what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel so i just woke up to three cells i sold a nintendo wii console with a controller then i saw a pink wii controller by itself and a minecraft video game for xbox 360 so on today's video i'm going to be showing you how i packed everything and how i try to keep the shipping cost as low as possible so with that said let's get right to it so these are the items we're going to be shipping out the minecraft game pink wii controller and then the wii console with the controller motion sensor cables and a stand so we're going to start off with the video game um for this I'm just gonna bubble wrap it. Real quick. Make sure the video game is inside the case. You don't want to send out an empty case. Doesn't have to be perfect. For this, I'm going to use an envelope. I think it's a 12 by 9 envelope. You don't have to use this, but this is what I have right now. So I'm just slide it in here. People do it differently, this is the way I do it, and it's always, I have never had any problems. And then we put the shipping label here, and this one is just ready to go. Now for the pink controller, on uh, this one, I uh, have a little box. I made this box up, I just got a piece of card, and I cut it up to make a box. Um, this is like a 12 by 8. And then what we're gonna do is just bubble wrap it. Bubble wrap the controller and then we make a little box that's gonna look like this. And that's pretty much it. So let's get right to that. This is a good way to save money is just to make your own boxes. Because if I use the small flat rate box, it's gonna cost me like $5. I'm thinking that with this box, it's only gonna cost me like two something to send it off. So any dollar you can save on shipping, it's always good. Let me close this up.
Mm. Here you have it. It's ready to go. Bubble wrap. Nothing moving. And then only weights. Four point five ounces. So that's that one. So now for the we, the plan is to make it fit on the regional rate box A. This box right here, and it's supposed to. If it fits and everything goes as planned, it's supposed to be only ten dollars to ship it using this box. If I for some reason I can't fit it in here, then I'm gonna have to go either FedEx. It'll be like three more dollars, or the regional box B. It's a little bit bigger, and that one will be like sixteen dollars. So, see if I can make it fit here. If we can, then we move on to the next. Need to get me one of those tape guns. Cables, I'm not gonna bubble wrap these or this. I'm gonna bubble wrap this sensor thing. It's mostly for so it looks good. If something happens, it's not really gonna look so good. As you can see, everything fits in here fine. I'm gonna put like one more layer of bubble wrap here so when, when they open it, it doesn't look like I just threw everything in there. As you can see, I made it fit the rake box A. This one weights um, it weighs almost five pounds. 
but with the great box a i think it's up to 15 pounds and i guess it's by region but it's only going to be ten dollars for it to ship this one out but yeah that'll be it um once i print the labels out i don't have one of those fancy thermal so i have to uh, cut the paper out and tape it but once I print them out, then I'll show you how much each one costs to ship out. We print out all the labels. I'm going to show the customer's information. But for the Wii, we paid the $10. Like I said, it was five pounds. And it's going in the regional rate box A. Um, the next one was this, the remote controller. It was five ounces and I paid $3.68 to get it shipped. Then the next one was the game. This one was three ounces. And this was and I paid two dollars eighty-four cents. As you can see, I didn't pay much for shipping. And hopefully you learned something new on this video. I know a lot of people don't like doing the Frankenstein boxes, but to me it works and it just saves me money and every time you can save a couple of dollars here and there with the ebay fees and the paypal fees it's just everything adds up so i don't mind doing it i try not to but if i have to do it i'll do it so that's going to be it for this video hopefully this helps some of you guys um ship items out and not do it the expensive way because there's always a way that you can do it cheaper um also if you did learn something, please like the video uh, and subscribe below. Um, if you can, follow me on Instagram. That's my main social media. And it's jbermuda787. And with that said, see you on the next one. I'm just trying to do what my brother did. I love you. I'm in love with the cocoa.